going on everybody? It's Bob Sled Jimmy. I'm here at Tree Sound Studios with the one and only Ra Ra. What's going on with you? Cooling, cooling, cooling. I hear you out here over here trying to take over the streets, man. You working, baby. You working. I see that. So tell us a little bit about yourself for people who don't know, you know. Tell us who you are. Man, uh, so basically from Atlanta, man, born and raised, uh, signed to Grand Hustle. I mean, got a project coming out. You know, a couple of days. I am what I am. Just working, man. You know, produce, rap, everything in between. So how you get started in music? Cause I heard you were a producer first. You know, I heard you got some hits out there. You know, you on that <laughs> new future that just came out. That's that's major right there. What's what's going on in the producing game? Well, man, basically, uh, I rap and produce. So really, man, it just go hand in hand with me. You know what I'm saying? Most. Most records when I produce them, it either either uh you know whoever it sound like go on it. You know some go for me and some I'm like yeah they go I'm gonna sell those or get this to whoever you know what I mean. But like I started both at the same time, and so you know. Yeah, I'm the same way, so I know exactly how you feel with that. So let me ask you. I know last Friday we got the video, FWM, crazy. We got another video today, for Lord. Tell us about. First, I want to know about the creativity behind Lord. Uh, so Lord, man, like most of my videos, I direct, them, right? So, and uh, I don't really do no treatments for them. I just, you know, pick me some dope spots. You know what I'm saying? That look like they, you know, telling the story or whatever. So behind Lord, man, I just, you know, I just wanted to be up close and personal, and I just really wanted to have a lot of performance shots. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's to, to me the song is like an emotional song. You know what I mean? So I feel like uh, the energy. You know when you when you hearing the lyrics or you you know well I know for me when I'm hearing a person for the first time I'm like okay they sound like either two things like do they sound like they mean it? Do it, uh, is it sound like it's authentic? Is it real? And then the next thing I want to do is see them and so I can know. You know what I'm saying? Is it is it everything, everything? For me, I know that's one particular song that I really, really felt from the heart. So I want the people to see me actually in motion performing it. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't really about trying to do a lot of fancy stuff, a lot of uh I don't do that in none of my videos. All the all the, you know, special effects and all that. They just straight up, close and personal, direct, you know what I mean? I feel you on that straight to the point. Yeah, straight to the point. Let me. So was that whole video for Law filmed in Atlanta? Cause I, okay, where was that? Uh, White House at? Uh, the White House actually off of punts. It's okay. off of punts. Yeah. So how I shoot my video, man. You know, uh, none of my videos actually look like Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So like. You can hear them from Atlanta when I talk, but I, I try to do everything different from what you normally see, man. You know what I'm saying? Because most people in the game right now, everybody doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't I ain't knocking it, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I kind of understand why artists do what they see other people do. Because, like, even with my stuff, I read a comment and uh, I just go through the comments sometimes. And I read a comment and uh, what I think the dude said. He said, uh, it sounds outdated. He said that F with me sounds outdated. It don't sound like the Atlanta sound. But to me, it's like, if we listen to people, we'll go crazy. Because if I make what they make, then you're going to say, I sound like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it is what it is. But I know with my personal stuff, I just like to do different music. You know what I'm saying? I ain't into the, you know, what they call it, mumble rap. I think it's dope, dope. I think the, the people who get it off, dope. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody, yeah, and everybody else who go to try to be like them, I think they just, you know, they just trying to get in where they fit in. But you got the certain people out there who is absolutely dope at what they do. You know what I'm saying? Let me salute you for doing your own thing in music. Definitely not conforming to anything. That's a big salute, especially in today's industry right now. So, what's your writing process like? You know, how'd you, where'd you work on this album? Was did you work on this album all in Atlanta, or you know, just give us a go through how you worked on this? Uh, man, the special thing about the CD, right? My life is really in real life, like real, like up, for real. You know what I'm 
saying? Besides, like, regardless of what you see on the camera, you know, we get dressed up for this and we make ourselves look good. The thing I like about my CD is I was in every every song that you got, I was really in that space. When I made Loud, I was really in a fucked up space. And excuse my language, but I was really in that space. Every song came from actually being in a certain space. Like, I moved around so many spots at, you know, making the songs. You know, these songs like three years in making. Loud is two years old. Two years old. The video is two years old. That's how you know you're making timeless music because you couldn't even tell that. You know what I'm saying? But when I made it, I think I was... I actually recorded that song in Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? I got out of Atlanta for a minute uh, just to clear my head. Yeah, I had a lot of stuff going on. Clear my head, went down to Tennessee. End up... Uh, so a friend of mine end up letting me get into this uh, big studio they got down there. And I was just in the studio by myself, and then, you know, just hearing them, hearing that beat, and hearing the, uh, just the organs in the whole church feel, and then just thinking like, loud man, just like, like, you know, that's what I heard on it, and just start to speak the story, not the story for, particularly for me, but, because I'm always talking about me and how I feel, it's just like, man, help us, you know what I'm saying, help my partner too, you know what I'm saying, like, I got people in jail, help them, just get them, like, you know, everybody, everything we do as, you know, human beings, we gotta, you know, we gotta suffer the consequence, we gotta pay, you know, for what we do, but just like, on the song, I'm just saying, like, open up this day, you know, give me a little room today, you know, I can go back to it tomorrow and deal with what I had to do, but today, just open up a little bit, you know what I'm saying, and that's a bit type of writing uh, process. It's cool. So, on I Am What I Am, who are we working with? Who can we expect to see you working with on there? Uh, the CDs don't have any features. I think, well, I got one feature, Tilt. He's on the intro. And other than that, it's just me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, solo dolo, man. I just want the world to get to know who I am. You know what I mean? Get familiar with my voice and me as a person before you start hearing me on tracks with everybody else. And it's a more personal thing, too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We're about to run out of time. I appreciate it. Tell us where we can find you on social media real quick. It's your boy, Dope Boy Rock, man. Uh, you can find me on social media, Dope Boy Rock, D-O-P-E-B-O-Y-R-A. All the social medias, man, and on Twitter is one dope boy raw. You know, right now we on Hip Hop Weekly all day, day hustle game, business. I am what I am, March 10th. You know it. Boss Lane, raw raw, we out.